Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Listen, before we get into it, it is currently 165 million degrees Celsius where I am in this room. <laughs> it is so hot. So do excuse if you hear a fan. I have it on the lowest thing ever. The description of a fan said it was silent, but I can definitely hear it. Um, but I will try my best to remove any background sound. Let's just move on. Let's forget this is happening. Also, if you see my top lip start to sweat, it's, um, it's sweat. Today, we are doing a full face of Elf. Elf have been stepping up their game every single release. I mean, they weren't bad <laughs> by any means at all. I, I've always loved Elf, but they just keep on releasing new products that I absolutely I'm in love with. I think by now, it isn't out yet, but I think when this video comes out, their um, Paulus Putty Liquid Primer will be out, um, which I will be ordering and I will be trying for you because I love their putty primers anyway. So let's get into it. Let's do this um, for Face of Elf. So let's start with a product that I think some people are using incorrectly, <laughs> just in my opinion. This is the Elf Power Grip Primer. I love this. I love this. And I actually, I've said before, I prefer it to its competition. Competition? The other day I posted this TikTok and I was like, let me ask you this question. Have you wasted your money on a makeup or beauty product because it was going viral for like a week on TikTok and you were so influenced to buy it that you bought it and used it and didn't like it and now no one's talking about it. <laughs> Everyone's just forgot about this product. Listen, we all do it, we impulse buy. Let me know if there's a product that you have done this with down below. I'll tell you mine down there too. <laughs> A few people said this, and I think I know why, because their ma main reason was it was like peeling off. Here's what I think might be the issue, right? Okay, so the trick here is, I think there's a temptation to go in with low as a primer, especially for those people dripping it around the face. You just want like one pump, Okay, maybe two. <laughs> very sticky, a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And then just gradually smooth it out very slowly, blend it outwards a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm gonna be using like the arch of my finger here just to really push it into the skin and really get it moving around. We don't want it to sit on top of our skin. We want it to be part of our skin. So I'm now gonna like push and work that into the skin. <laughs> tiny, tiny, like not even, not even a pea size, you know? And then really work and push that into our skin. We still get that bouncy tackiness, but it's not like, you don't want to feel it on your skin. You don't want to be able to peel it off, you know? I'm feeling like a summery look today. So I'm thinking, let's mix up. You know I love these, these tiny pads. Have I not opened this one? I haven't even opened this one. Very bad. Let's do that. So these are the bite size eyeshadows. I absolutely love, love, love these. And let's also use truffles, which is this one. So let's go into, we'll start with this like little deeper shade here. So these are really, really super, super affordable, but have amazing pigment, you see? Just with one little swoop. Look how incredible that is. I have on the Sigma eyeshadow primer, of course, because it's my favorite. I might just kind of like really blow this out and keep it nice and like shiny and bright on the lid. You know what I mean? They're so easy to blend as well. You don't need to be like an expert blend, blend stress. <laughs> love it. I love your shadow so much. I'm looking at this really nice like pinky shade right here and thinking let's dip into that and just tap it onto the lid. I was like summery, but I'm feeling like a bit more crisp. See, it's okay, we'll change it up, we'll mix it up. But these are what, three pounds or three dollars? Or is it eight or four? But the pigmentation, like you can buy a little collection of these and have like a whole palette for less than what you can buy a whole palette for with a very similar quality finish. You know what I mean? What I might do is take this dark brown and kind of go around the lash line, almost liner-esque or the black. I'm thinking the black, and let's do like a little bit of faux, faux liner almost, you know? I need to try and remember, okay. I'm gonna start doing like the old fashioned like um, YouTuber thing of telling you the brush numbers because people always ask me and I always forget. The first brush I used was an E27 Sigma Detailed Blending Brush, which is this one. I have a code with Sigma. I also have a discount code. And I also have my own brush set with them, so. Up to you if you want to use that. And the blending brush I was using was from My Kitco, and this is a 129 My Sheer Blender. Nice. And then I'm gonna go in with the Line Perfector from Sigma E68. And let's take this 
dark. It's like a black, but it almost has, mm, I don't know, it looks kind of like a brownie black. It's nice. I'm gonna tuck that right into the lashes right here. I'm not trying to make like a liner look, you know, we're not gonna be like, oh, liner. It's just tapping on that black shade. And as I get close to the edge, I'm kind of bringing it up here a little bit more and then coming down towards the center just to give it a little bit of a lift. And then I'll start from the inside corner and meet in the middle. I'll take that brush we used before with the um, first shade. I'm just gonna blend that black in. Right, let's use some concealer. Oh, everything in this video was gifted to me. I forgot to mention that, I do apologize. I'll put a thing at the beginning anyway. I also wanna show you like a little bit of color correcting. I was sent the camo color corrector and I just wanna show you, right, when you're color correcting, you will know this, you will know I say this all the time. We don't need to be pure orange on our face like it's not necessary for a lot of people you only need whoop, a tiny uh, a tiny bit but i'm also going to mix in some of this yellow with this orange because i want to brighten it up i want peach at most you know can you even see that yeah look it almost blends my skin this is the 4d hd brush from sigma this is one of my absolute favorites because you can get right up into these corners i just want to show you what using a peach tone concealer but it's still a little bit darker than your skin tone but blends well can do when it neutralizes under the eyes. That did not make sense what I just said. You can neutralize under the eye <laughs> using a peach tone, although it may be darker than the rest of your face. Once it's on top of your darker under eyes, it will neutralize itself and give you enough color correcting. You don't need full, full color correction. So I'm using it, I've mixed up my own peach shade. And look, look, that, that eye automatically looks a little bit brighter. Now we can go in with a lighter concealer and that's color correcting. It doesn't have to be like crazy, crazy, you know, pure orange. Look, look how neutralized, look how neutralized. So that's just neutralizing the color. It's not necessary coverage or anything like that yet. But now, because we've made our under eyes a little bit brighter, we don't have to use as much under the eye. And in turn, that stops creasing. It's gonna stop, um, it's gonna stop it looking cakey. We probably don't even have to use powder on top. I'm gonna go in with a hydrating camo concealer. This is the shade Medium Peach. And I put a little bit on the back of my hand because I just use way too much. I'm gonna use a Sigma Detailed Buffer just because it has a flat edge. And that way I can like use that flat edge to apply the product. And then I can use the um, fluffy side to, to blend in and take all the way down here. I really like how this concealer has good amount of coverage. It doesn't feel um, heavy though. It doesn't feel like it's, it's just sitting on my face. <laughs> And it just looks completely smooth, even on top of other products. Okay, we'll finish up under the eyes and I'm gonna take the first color that we used. And my, my Kitco My Detailing Smudge Brush, e, um, 1.13. And just go right under the eyes here. I'm trying to be really careful that I don't get any fallout. So I'm, I'm leaning slightly forward. And on the same brush, I'm gonna take this lighter shade <laughs> here and just go like underneath and along the eyeshadow just to blend it in. And take that right up to the inside corner just to soften it up a little bit so it's not like a harsh line you know okay i'm gonna take a pencil i don't have any elf pencils you know what? i always do a hay fever look every summer and i think this might be it <laughs> we'll finish up with lashes at the end let's go on to foundation let's use the elf camo cc cream cream so this is the shade light 240 now i really like this foundation i know i do already this is a little bit too light but we will bronze it up don't you worry so i'm not going to take it out right to the edges of my face i'm going to keep it quite central <laughs> for something that's full coverage this does have a really kind of natural finish to me it doesn't look crazy crazy full it doesn't look like cakey on the skin i think like that full coverage as well we all i think we always expect like cakiness but you don't have to go full on with full coverage you know okay the elf putty bronzer this is one of my absolute favorite favorite bronzers i love the elf putty range in general i think it's all beautiful it sits incredibly well on the skin no matter what your kind of skin type so i just gonna use a stubby brush this is the shade 
tan lines. And I'm gonna focus this kind of around my hairline because my foundation is a little bit lighter. This is a good tip if you're going away over summer or you're going somewhere hot, maybe you'll catch a tan, maybe you'll get a little bit deeper and perhaps your foundation isn't gonna fit you just grab a bronzer you can always use a foundation in the center of the face and then just right into the hairline get that bronzer up there and i love it look i just love the way it just looks fully blended with a foundation melts in with it beautifully a lot of you know i used to be quite a heavy <laughs> quite a heavy makeup snob, you know? Like, I would only really love, like, high-end brands, because I worked with a lot of high-end brands. I would be like, oh no, I would, I wouldn't dare you, you know. Drugstore, and I, Elf is one of the brands that really, really introduced me to realizing that Drugstore is actually good stuff. Okay, we're gonna use the Putty Primer next. This one is, I can't find the shade, but I will find it for you. It's this, like, peachy, Really nice. This is a great color because if you, you know, you're bronzed up, you're using bronzer, <laughs> but you want to bring a bit of color to your face, but you want it to add a little bit of a, a glow, like a brightness, like a summery bright. <laughs> a peachy, a peachy color on any skin tone looks incredible. You can go a little bit deeper peach, you can go like super, super light peach, but it always just brings a little bit of life to the skin, a little bit of life to the face, a little bit of brightness. Okay, highlighter, we're gonna go into Rose Quartz from the Halo Glow Beauty Wands. New favorite of mine, and I'm gonna just tap it onto the skin. I'm not gonna use this and rub it on the face. I'm actually just gonna be very careful with my placement here and just get a nice like natural kind of glow from this. I've gone for the Rose Quartz one. When I reviewed these in a video, I believe I it was the Champagne Campaign, is it called, that I used? because it was more kind of um, brighter, but this is a little bit more neutral, neutral to my skin tone, and, and that way it's gonna look more like my natural glowing skin. They also sent some of the camo foundations, so I'm just gonna use the smallest, smallest amount just in like the these areas of my face using the my flat powder brush from my Kitco, and I'm literally, because this is foundation, I'm gonna put a bit of my brush and I'm gonna tap it out like crazy, and I just tap that into this area here, just where I'm a little bit shiny. Doesn't matter if you go over the highlighter a little bit, you can still see, you can still see highlight, you see? And I'm using the, the like edge, the edge of this brush to go right under my eye here. I mean, really summery, but also I'm, I'm gonna get in air conditioning as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, well that is my updated full face of Elf for you, except for the lips and the mascara. I will leave everything down below so you know what I'm, um, what what the deal is. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up. If there's any other brands you want to see a full face of, let me know down below. I will see you very soon. Bye.